morning, everybody. It's like we have a whole crowd of Audis here. How about it? We got another one in the background. So we're here, if you guys remember, Jesse's S or RS3, sorry, that's his S3 and his RS3. We're gonna do brakes on this car. He actually got it all set up out here for me. Got the key, got, got all the, oh, he's got the fancy jack. That's cool. So we're gonna knock out um, pads, lines, rotors, and a brake bleed on this car. He's got the, the race fluid for it and everything. So we're all loaded up back here. I'll tell you what, guys, working for myself is actually pretty sick. And yeah, we got the brake bleeder. Got this one off Amazon. It's actually really good. Um, we got all the tools here. We're just going to get to work. I got this when I worked at the dealership. I love this for front pads. Makes life so easy. I wish there was a way to make something like this for the rear pads, but you gotta, you know, lock into them and, and spin them. So we got um, the rear kit here, but if you guys are in the Virginia Beach, Hampton Roads area and need work done, hit me up. I got my physical coming up this Monday, which is, I guess is when you'll probably see this video. So I should be starting a new job rather soon, but a couple weeks of working for myself, not paying taxes, getting paid cash. It's actually been pretty nice to me. It's been a good time. Starting to get started here, getting everything in place. Man, these zero three four rotors, man. These are just the rear runs, the rear ones. Let's see, let me open this up. This is the front one here. That is massive. This is already massive being a rear run. Holy Toledo. <laughs> that is crazy. Not gonna lie, this car's kinda kicking my ass, but look at how awesome that looks. That's a sick unit. The old calipers are stuck on there pretty bad. I didn't bring my mallet because I didn't or my big and my big metal mallet. I didn't think I would need it, but I do, and of course I don't have it. And I'm an hour away from home. But this thing's sick. Looking real good. About to do the other front. Whew. What a beautiful color too. So good. That is such a nice. Good lord. It's huge. There we go. That's how the fronts look. Pretty freaking sick, I must say. Especially with these wheels. Looks great. Jesse's home now. We put up a little gazebo for me to work. How about that? Awesome. They look sick. Shout out to 034. It's badass rotors. Check this out. Back to back. RS3s, 8V yesterday, 8Y today. We're doing springs on this bad boy. Sick. It's gonna look so good. It's a quick reference here. See all that, all that wheel gap. Got the RPF wands. Sawboat. All right guys, we're having to put wood under to get it off the lift. I wanted to get a clip while we're in here. This color is so gorgeous. It's Camora, right? Camora gray? Yeah. God dang. Right around two hours. Got the springs on. Oh yeah. You can tell the front for sure. <laughs> He's got spacers, but they told him he didn't need wheel bolts and he does, so. Look great. Oh. It's gonna be lower than that once, once the e-brakes off. Let her rip. Nice. Send it. Real slow. Yeah, dang. <laughs> so wide. Nice. Oh, you're awake. You're already perfect. What a dope looking car. And them spacers on there. Yes, sir. <laughs> much, much better. No more kittens under the uh, under the vendors. <laughs> now with the spacers, man, it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, I can see them push the wheels, but I'm afraid I might hit the rear one. You see how fucking 
close it is. Yeah. How much? What size are they? Ten millimeters. All around? Yeah. Uh, it's it should be all right. Most people, some people go like. Whoa, Rylan! 